It was a combination of things. It's got a good power rating, 2.8 megawatts, a rotor diameter of 150 meters. You know, that's 73.2 meter blades. That is absolutely huge. It's available with towers to give it a hub height of 140 meters. You put those three things together and you have a turbine that works incredibly well in low wind conditions. It's a very well-proven design. It's a development of something Goldwind has been working on and building for more than 20 years. It's, you know, a really good all-round package of a good specification, very price competitive, and it's reliable and easy to maintain. It's a low-maintenance machine. That combination of, of factors made it stand out for us. China is such a huge market that domestic uh, OEMs can afford just to to stay within it, but Goldwyn has always looked further abroad. This is a turbine that would work in many other places. You know, I'm thinking particularly Africa or Asia. There may even be parts of Australia where it would work very well. This is a turbine with huge potential outside China. It's right up there now. It's one of the big three, if you like, up with Vestas and Siemens Gamesa, probably ahead of, you know, companies like GE, for goodness sake. That's not just in volume. I say it's a big player. The last time we had a look at their figures, we reckoned Goldwind had over 35,000 turbines operating worldwide across 27 countries. That all adds up to something like a 60 gigawatt fleet. A very strong contender um, as a top turbine maker in its own right. So many of the best sites you know, for wind power are already occupied. Making the best use of sites that aren't so good has been a question of responding in terms of technology to those conditions. Goldwyn has just done that really well. This is you know, a high tower. It's got a good power rating, a huge, huge rotor diameter. I mean, the specific power rating, anything under... 180 watts per meter squared is reckoned to be pretty good. This comes in at 158 watts per meter squared. It is a very, very efficient turbine for low wind speed conditions and it opens up places for wind power that, you know, only three or four years ago people would have said it's not worth it. It is now if you've got this kind of turbine.